Nana and Jenny, you've been called before the Sai 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 Sorority Council to learn if the school's oldest and most popular sorority has accepted you. Jenny, congrats, <gasps> you're totally in. <laughs> Diana. First, let me say I'm so excited to be... I'm afraid your application has been rejected. Rejected? The council has concerns about your lack of tolerance. But, but there must be some mistake! I'm tolerant! I'm totally tolerant! In fact, tolerant is my middle name. <laughs> <gasps> Diana! Martin! <laughs> Just ignore the geek behind the curtain. As I was saying, I can tolerate anyone, even... Martin? Huh? Look, Di, we're prepared to offer you a deal. If you can tolerate a free spirit like your stepbrother, we'll reconsider your rejection. What? You've got to be kidding! <coughs> I mean, what a wonderful idea. Great. You've got 24 hours. Now go out there and show us how tolerant you can be. Uh, you got it. Oh, Martin, what are you doing out here? Remind me never to pick you as my charades partner. I was trying to tell you that the center is beeping us. Huh. Huh. The fountain. Last in rotten egg. Huh? Oh. 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 History cleared. Diana Lombard cleared. Java the caveman cleared. Oh. Ah. Ah. Nice move, Martin. If you're a great Dane. Mm. I mean, what a clever way to dry off. <laughs> Think I'll try it. <laughs> well, you look more like a Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hi guys. Hi, Hi Billy. Boy, Di, you're sure in a pleasant mood today. As a Sai 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 sorority sister hopeful, it's my duty to be extremely tolerant of everyone. Even a doofus. I mean, a free spirit like Martin. <laughs> Whoa! Cool! What is it? Gaian telekinetic device. The hot toy for Christmas on Gaia 1 and 2. Can I try? <gasps> no. Hmm. And now for your assignment. Last night a man, Dr. Trevor Sindler, disappeared from a train platform outside Washington, D.C. The same train platform where there have been reports of a mysterious being. Go check it out. Train platform? Mysterious being? This has albino alligator written all over it. Huh? Yeah, they live in the sewers and come out at night to stalk their prey. Oh, please. That is the most outrageous... Uh-uh-uh. Careful with your words, Ms. Sorority Sister Hopeful. Outrageously creative idea I've heard in a long time. Hey, Mom, can you move something else? Yes, I can. So, Trevor Sinlin was seen somewhere around here right before he caught the last train to Alligatorville. Look! Good eye, Joff! Primetime slime! And good use of rhyme scheme, Martin. It's simply amazing how witty you can be in the middle of a serious investigation. Well, what can I say? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Slime scan selected. Analyzing data. Sample of type Alpha Eductus Subterraneus. It's sewer goo, which means my albino alligator theory must be correct. Hmm. A 
As you can see, he dragged the slime up from down there. Martin, can I ask one little question? If albino alligators live in the sewers, why hasn't anyone ever seen one? Because they're covered in goo. Hey, check it out. It's Trevor's cell phone. Looks like he made a phone call before he disappeared. Who'd he call? Roberta Frisk. Well, maybe she can tell us something. Java no like Georgetown. C. Jones, M. Muncie, P. Nowak, R. Frisk. Oh, that's gotta be it, Roberta Frisk. Let's see if she's home. <laughs> yep, she's home. Come on. Java no see. There, in the corner. All right, Mr. Alligator, consider your urban legend days officially over. You are activated. Alpha goggles selected. Hey, where'd they go? There. Unbelievable! Ah! Look! Forget about my alligator theory. What can drag a full-grown woman straight down the side of a building? An albino Santa Claus? Hmm. Just kidding. There must be clues around here somewhere. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, Di, I love a good read too, but are you sure this is a time and place? This isn't a book, Martin. It's the results from some sort of genetic engineering research written by Dr. Roberta Frisk and Dr. Trevor <gasps> Sindler. Guy from train station. Apparently, Trevor and Roberta work together at Geno Splice Labs. All right then, <gasps> Geno Splice Labs, here we come. Slovenly living space is a bad thing. Yeah, right. Hey, what's this? Bioscan selected. Analyzing data. Sample is tonsorial clipping from unknown animal of Order Muridae. Order Muridae? You mean this is... A ball of super long rat hair. Cool, huh? Cool? Are you kidding? Only a child would think rat hair is cool. Are you calling me a child, Ms. Lombard? <gasps> uh, of course not. I was just pointing out that your approach has a childlike exuberance, that's all. <laughs> Great detective work, Marty. <gasps> <gasps> what was that? Come from down there. Come on, we better check it out. Some kind of humongous rat's nest. Help us! There! Over here! Help! Oh. Oh, that's a giant rat! Not cool, Martin. Quick! Let's get out of this nightmare! Oh. Quick 
enough. Turn into ah! that. I got her selected. the security cameras were recording when the lab was trashed. There's Roberta and Trevor. Uh, who's that? Dr. Maurice Muncy. <laughs> hey, look out! Don't get it on your skin! Some of that formula leaked into an air vent! I wonder where it ended up. And what happened when it got there? came in through there. Land here. <laughs> Nothing worse than sleeping in slime. Look! Al Rizzo, the Genosplice janitor. Good old Al looks a lot like... <gasps> Man. This formula must be some pretty strong stuff. An ox. Hmm. Uh, that is a smart, friendly, clever, clumsy ox. <laughs> right. Anyway, the formula must be some sort of nanomolecule that combines rat and human DNA. And Rat Man, I, I mean Al, must blame those freaky scientists for turning him into a nasty, nappy furball. That would explain why he dragged the other two here and turned them into rats. Now he must be going after Dr. Muncie to finish the job. Let's go up to the lab and try to find Dr. Muncie's address. No need. Huh? My super sleuthing sense will tell me exactly where Muncie lives. Super sleuthing sense? Get real. <gasps> I mean, I'd love to hear how... I saw his name on Roberta's apartment building. Do that! 
He must have a collapsible skeleton just like a regular rat. And regular rats have super sensitive hearing. How do you know? I saw it on the When Rodents Attack special on the Wild Animal Channel. Ha! Perfect! Add a little volume. Look out! <laughs> to hold our rambunctious rodent <laughs> for about 10 seconds. Dr. Muncy, are you all right? Uh, who are you? Uh, where did that horrible creature go? You mean Al, the gentle splice janitor? What? When Dr. Frisk spilled the formula, it turned him into the rat man. <laughs> If we don't reverse the process before the transformation is complete, he'll be stuck as a rat forever. Java no want to be rat. How can you reverse the process? We can't. Not without the formula. Wait! I took this sample from the janitor's room. Will that help? We need the janitor's DNA, too. And I don't know how much of it is left in the rat man. Al had black curly hair. And as grody as it is, I can see that there's still a few left. Excellent thought, Diana. We just need to get a strand. Excellent thought, Martin. You better hurry. Thanks, Java. Doctor, your order of janitor DNA is ready. Now, we just need a stove to heat up the beaker and extract Al's DNA. Great idea. If you huh? haven't been paying any attention to what's going on, I mean, hello? Ratman's in the kitchen! Aha! You watch! I got her selected. Another fine job, Agents. These three will have to answer for their unauthorized experiments, but I'm sure they'd rather spend some time in jail than the rest of their lives scurrying through the sewers. Thanks, guys. If you hadn't shown up, I would have spent the rest of my life as a sewer rat. It was our pleasure, Al. You know, except for the slimy parts. Eh, uh, sorry about the bite, Java. It okay, Al. Well, Di, I must say, I'm very proud of you. Good work, Ando. Welcome to the Sisterhood. What? Oh, uh, didn't you know? I'm senior advisor to Sai Sai Sai. <gasps> I told the girls if you could be nice to me, you could be <gasps> nice to anyone. You did great, and with my recommendation, you'll be in. No sweat. You mean, being nice to you was your idea? Yep. So I've been slimed and gooped and rat-haired because of you? That's right. You're completely and utterly uh, intolerable! Hmm. Oh, and with only a couple of hours to go. Oh well, we can try again tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. Till you get it right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Mystery in the library? Tonio, I'm disappointed by your lack of faith in me. As you know, I've always been an intellectual. Yeah, right. I've always been captain of the varsity basketball team. Hmm. Come on, what's your angle? Oh, all right. She's right over there. Amanda Robinson? I thought she only dated Brainiacs. Exactly why we're a match made in heaven. <laughs> what? Hey, Amanda! What a coincidence seeing you here. I, I was just doing a, you know, a little light reading. <gasps> Martin, those are dictionaries. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> you know me, I love big words. Um, uh, perhaps you would accompany me to observe a cinematic extravaganza this Friday night? Sorry, I have to study. Well, that works too. <laughs> I love to study. You do? <gasps> Thanks, but I don't think our study habits are compatible. <sighs> Let me translate for those who are too slow to take a hint. She doesn't date dumb guys. Or pathetic ones, either. Yeah, yeah, just get Java. They're playing our song. Warm mystery. Cleared. Diana Longhorn. Cleared. Java the Caveman. Cleared. Whoa! What is that? The Scrolls of Agathar. Very rare and totally irreplaceable. Mom is attempting to retrieve the scrolls using our new state-of-the-art xenon carbon laser. Very cool! <laughs> huh? Oh! Very bad! It works! <laughs> I mean, oops. Martin Mystery! It took three teams 20 years to find those scrolls, and it took you only 20 seconds to destroy them. Sorry? The three of you will be leaving right away for Paris. Paris? Oh, I can't believe it! I've always dreamed of going to Paris! Does Martin have to come? I'm afraid this won't be a vacation. Our source in Paris has made us aware of a suspicious disappearance that occurred last night. That is what you'll be investigating. Hmm, suspicious disappearance? That happens to be my major. Well then, by all means. Hey! Diana, wait! <sighs> Been sealed up tight since those kids went missing. You can look around all you want, but you're on your own. No way I'm stepping foot inside this place again. Huh. Well, what are we waiting for? This is my kind of place. Creepy. This place is a wreck. I'll fan out and look for clues. I bet we're dealing with something nocturnal and strong, too. It could be a werewolf, or maybe even a half-humanoid, half-beast hybrid. Or it could have been kids playing some kind of practical joke. Oh, yeah? Then explain this. Claw marks. And remember, two people huh? are missing. Mm, Java like food on stick. Java, no! Don't eat the clues! Mm, that's quite a bite. Let's scan it. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Sorry. 
analysis complete. What do you know? It picked up traces of saliva. And not your everyday kind, either. Says it's 500 years old. 500? That thing has got to be broken. Huh? <gasps> What's that? Ah! Java Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> Java no like swimming. You'll be okay, Jav. <sighs> Something majorly tweaked that guy out. What are you doing with that travel brochure? Brushing up on my French history. The Eiffel Tower, which was built in 1889, is open from 9 to 11. Oh, Amanda will be so impressed with my knowledge of French lit. Huh? Hey, guys, it's Billy. I got the lowdown on that jacket logo for you. Cool. What's the word? It's from a skateboard shop on Avenue Montagna. By my calculations, that's only three blocks from where you are now. Uh, thanks, Billy. We'll check it out. Oh, uh, by the way, we're still working on that saliva sample you sent us. Should have something for you soon. Oh, cool store. Check this stuff out. <sighs> hey. <laughs> look, it's the guy from the ride. Hey, you're right. Only he doesn't look so pale and clammy. Hmm. Uh, sorry, dudes, we're closed. <laughs> if you want to buy a board, you have to come back tomorrow. Uh, actually, uh, Carl, I was wondering if you could identify the other man in this picture. My partner, Mike? Dude never showed up for work today. He better not have bailed to Australia to catch some tasty waves without me. Uh, who's the lady in the picture? That's my new girlfriend, Simone. So don't go getting any ideas. Like <gasps> I said, we're closing, so get lost. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Do you think he knows what happened to Mike? Doesn't seem like he does. Hey, there's his girlfriend. <gasps> oh, did you see that? She has no reflection! <sighs> oh no, he doesn't see her! <gasps> S S Simone, what happened to you? I'm afraid the time to begin my search has come. Your friend was not suitable. What did you do to Mike? Another workless human to serve as a minion! I must find the one! He needs help. I'm going in. Martin, don't! <laughs> Java, we need to get him out of there. Back off and no one gets hurt. I know how to deal with your kind, vampire. Ah, very clever. And fearless, too. Just like my Gerard. And just as oh. handsome. <laughs> You are, lady, but I can tell you he's definitely not boyfriend material. Be reborn! Minion, we must return to the lair to prepare for their arrival. <laughs> He's not going anywhere with you. <gasps> Martin! Oh, uh, hi, Martin. I was just about 
about to call you. Uh... No, Billy, it's Diana. Martin's in trouble. He's been abducted. Oh, no. I'm transmitting an address to the U Watch. Meet me there. Hmm. You think maybe there's a secret entrance or something? Huh. Java make door. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. I was expecting Trey she she, not Trey creepy. Who lives here? The saliva sample you sent belongs to an alleged 15th century vampire named Simone de Bastogne. Simone was the name of the girl in the skate shop. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Is it just me, or does the guy in this painting have sort of a Martin vibe going on? That must be why she went all deja vu back at the skate shop. We better check out what the U-Watch has to say about Simone. U-Watch activated. Legend X selected. Simone and her consort, Gerard Montaigne, were monarchs of a vampire clan in Paris. Instead of biting their victims, they steal their souls, turning them into evil minions. Let's see, cross-reference Martin mystery. <gasps> Martin is a distant relative of Gerard, and they share a common rare gene. Simone said something about her clan being reborn. If Martin shares this rare gene, he could be the key to reviving the clan. <gasps> I'm actually going into a sewer to rescue my brother. <sighs> Something is very wrong with this picture. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just see that. Just your stomach grumbling? Mm. Java's right. You know, the more I think about it, Martin's completely capable of fending for himself. Let's get out of here. Ah! <gasps> no, Billy, over here. <gasps> Let's follow them. It might lead us to Martin. It'll also lead us to the vampires. My thoughts exactly. Let's go. For 500 years I slept, bound by a curse that was so kindly, though accidentally broken, when my crypt was disturbed. Merci, Monsieur Deville. You'll make a fine addition to our little family. <laughs> <laughs> The fates have been kind to us, my creatures, for they have delivered to us the keys that will assure our immortal power! And you're looking at him. There he is, and he's starting to look like him. By tomorrow's full moon, the binding ceremony will be complete, and the passage to the banished realm will be opened, and our brethren will return! That should buy some time to plan a rescue. You! <sighs> <laughs> Bring me the finest fries in all of France! Yeah! <laughs> I just hope he wants to be rescued. It looks like they're all asleep. Let's do it. I wish I would have stayed back at the office with Mom. What's 
the meaning of this? Shh! We're rescuing you! Rescue? <laughs> you amuse me, my mortal sister! He won't be going anywhere, and neither will you! <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, now remember whose side you're on, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It feels a little weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Lock them away. After the ceremony, they will serve us for an eternity. <laughs> As a prophecy foretold, my return shall bring the dawn of a new underworld. <laughs> I'll get a Torrington if my stepbrother comes home a vampire. You two better get back. You know how it works. How hard can it be? Turbo bungee selected. Uh. Uh -oh. uh, maybe we should try that again. I command you! 
happened? You don't remember? Uh, no. But it must have been one heck of a party. I got the king of all headaches. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hey there. Uh, since I got back from Paris... Paris? You are smart. Can you help me with my calculus? Well, all you need to remember is if the uh, cosine of uh, the hyperbole is uh, equal to the square That's root... That's complete gibberish. <gasps> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I used some math words. Wait, I'm really smart when it comes to alien abductions and lycanthropy and vampires. Amanda, wait! to announce that the Blackwater Lodge is now reopened for business. of the black water What you doing? Signing up for the Torrington Tough Enough Club. They do waterfall climbing, triple triathlons, hoo -hoo -hoo, grizzly boxing, you know, tough stuff. Stuff you wouldn't be interested in. Oh, really? And why wouldn't I be interested? Well, you know. I know? What do I know? What's the problem? Uh, hmm. Well, how can I put it? Because you're a wimp. <gasps> a wimp? Are you kidding? Please, I'm as tough as you are any day. Excuse me, but aren't you the same person who had Java open her nail polish jar this morning? Ugh! That wasn't nail polish, it was cuticle strengthener, which, as everybody knows, is a highly adhesive substance. <laughs> well, whatever you say, Di. The center! It's coming from under the step. Stand back, <gasps> I'll lift it. Hmm. <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> Thanks, but I can move it just fine by myself. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I did it! In your face, Martin. Hi, Diana. Oh. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving before Diana embarrasses herself any further. Long history cleared. Diana Lombard, cleared. Jada the Caveman, cleared. Hey, guys! Billy, my man, hit me! Billy, hit Java! I can do secret handshakes, too! Give me five, Billy! <laughs> Don't look at me! 
out for myself. Hi there, are you an agent too? Because I was thinking we could team up and... Whoa, hey, it was just a simple question. No need to get all testy. Don't take it personally, Martin. Amber's not from around these parts. She's a creature from the Omega Nebula. They have the ability to cloak themselves as humans. If it wasn't for their bad manners, you'd never know the difference. <laughs> Sounds a little like Martin. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? I want you to investigate the haunting of a resort lodge near Vancouver. You mean an old-fashioned ghost? Oh, I love the classics. Classic scams, you mean. I smell a big-time hoax. Hmm, that's why I'm sending you to find out the truth. Billy? This way, guys. Hmm. Don't even think about it, Martin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're finally here. My name is Susan Bridges. I'm the manager here at Blackwater Lodge. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. So, what kind of ghost you got? Poltergeist? Screamer? Headless? Zombie? Ectoplasm? Who? Uh, I'm not sure. All I know is that there's been some strange occurrences over the past few days. Oh, what kind of occurrences? Things disappearing, strange noises, doors and windows opening and closing on their own, and some guests claim to have heard an old Victrola playing music. Huh? What's so weird about that? It's been broken for years. <gasps> okay, now we're talking. Look, I want this mystery solved quickly and quietly. It's the first week of business and it could make or break the launch. Anything else? Um, there is one more thing. Awesome! Woohoo! Looks like the ectoplasmic residue left by an angry spirit! Either that or a housekeeping effort gone terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my partner has a very active imagination and an awful sense of humor. Anyway, a slime scan should tell us more about our mystery goo. Right, Martin? Right. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Sample is of unknown composition. Slime scan inconclusive. That could have been more helpful. <laughs> Something smell funny. You're right, Jav. Something does smell funny. And it's not Martin this time. <laughs> it smells like tobacco. Hmm. <gasps> huh. Hmm. It's been used recently. That's odd, considering the library is always locked and I have the only key. Well, who does this pipe belong to? Phyllis Blackwater, the last manager. This was his favorite room in the lodge. Maybe he's responsible for all the weird happenings. Old employees sometimes carry grudges and he probably still has keys. That's impossible. He passed away over a hundred years ago. <gasps> Come on! Activity. Oh, I have to take a closer look. Hey, 
Hey, no fair! Where'd you go? Drama! Oh. Oh. Some help! Please! <laughs> Martin, are you okay? <laughs> Gotcha! No gotcha. This can't be good! Cool. It's an old pocket watch. One of the guests must have dropped it. On the ceiling? Look, the initials say PB, as in Phyllis Blackwater. This watch must have been his. PB could stand for a lot of things, Martin, like Peter Benchley or Paul Bunyan or Pearl Bailey. Oh, yeah? Look behind you! I'm afraid there's something I haven't told you. We had a ceremony opening night, and that picture fell off the mantle and broke. Then the windows just flew open. Like something trapped in the photograph was released? What are you talking about? Photos have always been linked to paranormal activity. Many cultures even believe that a camera can steal your soul, imprisoning it within a picture. So? So, Phyllis must have had his soul trapped in the photograph. It escaped when the glass was broken. It makes total sense. <laughs> yeah, if you're a total lunatic, it's obviously a hoax. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of it. Well, you'll have to get to the bottom of it alone, because I've had enough! <laughs> Is it me? Or did this place just get ten times creepier? Java have bad feeling about this. Relax, guys. I'll call Billy and ask her for some background info on Phyllis. No need! Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Exactly why I've won the center's eager beaver award three years running. Anyway, I found out that old Phyllis wasn't only the manager. He part owned the Blackwater. And that is until his business partners turned on him and the bank foreclosed on his mortgage. No wonder he's angry. But Phyllis loved this place more than anything else in the world and refused to leave, even after they shut off the heat. When they came to check on the joint, they found Phyllis frozen solid in the ballroom, sitting in front of a camera. Probably the same old camera I landed on earlier. And let me guess, that creepy old photo in the ballroom was found in that camera? Ding, 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 ding. Give the lady a prize. Well, at least now we know what we need to do. Catch Phyllis' spirit and get it back in the photograph. And just how are we going to do that? <sighs> huh? Hey, this isn't working. Why can't one of you guys be the bait? It doesn't have to be you. I just thought you were tough enough. But if you're chicken, Java will do it. Right, Java? No way. Java not stupid. I'm tougher than both of you combined. That's what I wanted to hear. Now, uh, go be more, uh, bait to E. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when he does that. Hello, Mr. Blackwater? I have some things that belong to you. Okay, well, I guess if you don't want them, I'll just have to throw them away. <gasps> uh, Mr. Blackwater, sir, I wasn't really gonna throw your stuff away. I just wanted to get your attention. Honest. <laughs> Ah. That's our cue! Ah. Whoopsie, my bad. Martin! Get me out of this thing! Right now! Oh. Hey! Where'd our ghosty go? You'll die! Are you okay? 
You look kind of weird. Oh. <sighs> oh, you're possessed. Get out! This not good. You could say that again. I just ripped my favorite shirt. Not shirt, Diana! Oh, you mean the whole possession thingy? Ah, don't sweat it. All we gotta do is suck the spirit of Phyllis back out of her. How? Simple. I take her photo. Trust me, Job. Diana will be her old wimpy, can't open her own nail polish self in no time. Alpha goggles selected. Alpha goggles selected. Yoo hoo! Little Miss Tough Enough, time to smile pretty for the camera. <laughs> uh, not exactly the attractive pose I was looking for, but it'll do. Ha! I got you in your face, Diana! I don't think it worked, Martin. Judging by the freaky new updo and the sudden ability to levitate, I'd have to agree with you, Joff. Come on, let's get out of here. safe but not out of the clear not until I figure out why my little camera trick didn't work maybe camera broken the camera works fine wait a minute sitting in front of a camera the camera duh we have to use the original but original in ballroom hey Java no like music. Can't say I blame you there. Whoa, check it out. Is it Diana? No, something even scarier. A spontaneous redecorating job. Funky. It's like the rooms changed back to how it looked in Phyllis's time. Like the lodge is coming alive. Remembering what it was like. Java scared. Don't be. Hmm. <sighs> now we've got the secret weapon that's gonna squash our specter. And I think I know just where she is. library was Phyllis's favorite room, which means Diana's probably pretty fond of it, too. Plus, she's a book geek by nature. Where else would she hang? Martin Wright. Smart. Thanks. Now we have to be really quiet if we want to sneak up and snap her picture. Java promise. No make sound. Approach will work too. Your possessing days are over, Phyllis. Now, Java. <laughs> it didn't work again. How can that be? <laughs> Look, if you're still angry about the wimpy comments, I'm sorry. You're tough, Doc. It's just in your own special way. This lodge is mine. Get out! I think we better do what the lady says. Stop! Get out! Now unstuck. <laughs> I'm 
beginning to believe her. Come on, we'll lose her in here. Make a caveman faint. Ah! Ask a stupid question. Ah! Yeah! Uh! Nowhere to run. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Whoa! That <laughs> is. Times the charm. No! Help! Uh, What's going on? Help! Diana! We should get you inside before you get hypothermia. What am I doing out here? You should probably ask him. Team, but I'm shutting this place down. It's just too dangerous. Yeah, this lodge has a way of getting inside you. <laughs> Is that another one of your goofy jokes? What? Oh, no way. I'm not gonna mess with you anymore. Diana, tough. Yeah, much tougher than I ever thought. You came through a classic possession better than any guy I've ever seen. You can join the Tough Enough Club anytime <gasps> you want. <laughs> Please, like I would join your stupid group. I've had enough of all this tough stuff. I'm taking a weekend off for rest and relaxation. Really? Now let's get out of here. I'm in serious need of a hot bubble bath. <laughs> 